morning. It's a cold morning in Blackpool today and we're at the train station uh, just behind me and we're off to Blackpool in 10 minutes, I think. Just checking my wallet. Yep, we're off to Blackpool in 10 minutes. So come with me as we discover the new northern extension of the tram system at Blackpool North. Cold morning. So let's go with me on this lovely adventure. Right, the station's quite busy this morning. I suppose people are making their way to work and commuting. One fifty on the uh, platform two. Not sure where it's going. I've been meaning to go back since the first video, but obviously. Got a lot of criticism on that first video. A lot of people not happy with what I had to say. And to that, I understand. I understand that enthusiastic criticism. People are enthusiastic about, about trains and trams and buses. You tend to be linked to the knowledge or involved in the knowledge and able to find what you're looking for because you're part of forums and groups. An average Joe like myself who is new to this sort of uh, hobby and new to it, does find it very difficult when you gatekeep it. You know, it's like on Facebook forums and Reddit posts. I genuinely just Googled information about Blackpool Open, Blackpool Trams Open Day, and there was very little on the website. Uh, I showed that in the video. I showed the history of it. Like, that's as far as a non-enthusiastic level person is gonna go to that information. They aren't gonna go any further than looking on Google, unless they're unless they know there's Facebook groups and stuff like that. And then finding Facebook groups is not as easy as it looks, you know. You don't know where you're gonna have that information posted. So yeah, I wasn't very happy with some of the comments. I think some of the people just forget that information isn't always the capability of everybody else. It can sometimes be hidden out of plain sight. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed when people got really upset at that one. In fact, it's the most disliked view dislike bus um, dislike video I've got on the channel and that's saying something Sunny Blackpool today. Lovely. I've not got my mic on, so I don't know how this is going to sound. But yeah, we have made it to Sunny Blackpool North. That train was absolutely packed from Blackburn to Preston. And then one, two, about 20 people got off, including the conductor. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? How busy trains are, they're not busy. So, yep, yeah, let's have a wander to Blackpool.
，將方案翻去揾二六七嚟補足。And here we are, North Station tram stop. A lot of people have not been happy with this signage. So there's two. Well, one's just leaving. There's one on the stand. So I'm not too sure. So the last time we visited, obviously it was still a construction site. <laughs> it's still not. It's still not far off being the construction site. It's not really been tidied up, has it? So the wall of three is on the stand. I don't even need to get on them. So this looks like some passenger information. A lot of people had complained there was no passenger information, no announcements. I don't know if I can get on this tram. I don't know how it works. But yeah, here we are. At the new tram stand extension. It's weird to think that there's people's beds just above it. Um, now, it's been a bit of controversy <laughs> about the new Northern Station uh, since it's opened. Now, I'm not the one that's caused it, but there's an article in the news and I'll link it in below. Come here, follow me. But the station itself is not open after 7 p.m. And your nearest stop is Northern Pier, which is a short walk away down the road. And you might think, well, and that's not too bad. Um, you know, you're a fit young lad. I am, and I can walk down the stop. Uh, however, other people might not be able to, and that's what people are complaining about. But they might as well name it, rename the station to the Young People Station or something. The, the article's linked below anyway. I'll put a picture of it on the screen in editing. So yeah. This is the new £22 million extension. When we visited, uh, it was not open to the public. It was like a, a select committee who had won lottery tickets to come and look at it. Um, and yeah, since then, I believe there has been a lot of changes to the timetable. This is a new timetable. So it's now quarter past nine. And where are we? 10 past, 25 past the T3, uh, which I'm assuming this is, which goes all the way to Bishop Stargate. Oh, Bisson. I don't know where that is. That only go half the way. Hmm. Okay, a bit confused here. <laughs> I want to go ride. Well, we will ride this one in a minute. Right, let's go and have a look around. Where is this one going to? Yeah, that's the northern this train and half the tram. That stuff's in really lovely. These are a Bombardier class train. The doors keep closing, I've no idea what's going on. Oh, 
Uh, top of the north of Talbot Street, I think it is. Talbot Street, Talbot Road. You need to find out. You go from the top of. I've got to admit, I'm on the nicest bus, uh, nicest tram ride ever. So, yeah, from the top of Talbot Road, near the Sainsbury's in the station, down to the bottom of it, near, I think it used to be a hotel, but it still is. And um, that is the new £22 million extension. Um, People who can't walk, it's it's a handy service. But is it as fast as the bus? Are the buses quicker? That'll be the question. Still gonna navigate quite. Officially, this is the end of the extension. I think there's only one station on the extension as well, coming down. Or maybe Talbot. Or maybe there is a stop at Talbot Road. So the trans goes on the tram track here in like Manchester where the tram can uh, run on the road next to the tram house. Uh, the tram line is actually separated from the main road. There is quite a lot of the on the tram as well. Um, Obviously, we're not in the high I just rode up from North Central. The new extension, sorry, I just rode from the new extension to Stargate. We'll have a look at Stargate in a minute. I got to admit, very slow. Not something I expected to be that slow. But it's a lovely day today. So we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to ride a few more trams. And we'll see you
up at Stargate. This is the hub where all the trams go. You'll have seen that on other videos. But they all come in here. There's all two. I uh, can't see what number that one is. 13. Parked up and tram washway. So I didn't do much research or planning when I came to this. I think, um, I think I watched about three or four videos on it. Um, we came, I watched uh, Gloves Trains um, and I think I watched the young lady, I can't remember what her name was. Uh, Walk on the Wild Side and a uh, lovely young lady. I'm just trying to find it now on my YouTube search history. I watch that much stuff at least today. <laughs> yeah, Gloves Trains. Uh, Sims on trains, walk on the wild side. And there's definitely another one, I think it's like Emily or something. Just find it now, it's gonna really annoy me. Oh, Jem. Jem's was probably one of the most critical ones. She was like, I think she was saying, like, is it gonna survive? Is it, you know, 15 minute times, half an hour timetable? And they have changed to 15 minutes. Here's our next trampoline in. And this is for Fleetwood and North Station. So we're going to go back up the extension now. I don't know if this is the same one I got on, but this is his 03 model again. Precision. Time point that looks up. Gives me time to find my ticket. But yeah, it wasn't busy coming down at all. I expected it to be a lot busy, but now it's like it's around about 9 30 ish now. So I don't think it's busy going back. Charge. So yeah, I'm just wondering how well this extension is going to do because it's, it's only a small portion of the track, and against the buses at two pound, we need a six pound, six pound sixty ticket. So yeah. Paid for food in that way. Yeah, six pounds sixty a ticket. Actually, there's a twenty-two million pound investment from the government, uh, from from local business and government. Um, reading online though, before I came, I did a little bit of research. Um, also talked about the Blackpool Gazette, welcome young, fit, and solvent people only. And that's what the recognition name the train. But impressively, since June the twelfth, over eighty thousand trips have been made for the new twenty-three million pound tramway extension. That's trips, that's not passengers. But I do wonder like, how many people are actually going to get on and off at North. So we're going to, this is going to flee, we're going to ride the whole loop now. Right, so this way, we're going to go up and then um, go down to Fleet. <laughs> What's the Fleet? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it just seems very. Very slow, very light. Yeah. Compared to buses, like buses are like snappy, snappy. So yeah, um, it's nice. It's comfortable. I wouldn't say it's longevity comfortable. It's the seats are a bit. They're not like which way class or anything like that. But they're very wide, open space. I don't know how busy they get in the morning and the afternoons. But. <laughs> I just think to myself, £6.60, 
data kit yeah. is it as viable as a bus? Of the tram line. We're in Fleetwood. Lovely view today. Looking really nice out. Yeah, we just got to Fleetwood. But only 15 minutes now. So the last last video I watched were uh, there every half an hour. So that's kind of fun that the 15 minutes did take a while. Got really busy towards the middle part of it. Um, middle part of the journey coming out of Blackpool um, got really busy I think I counted about six people get off at um, Central here where it's not Central um, the new station North Pier so about six people got off and about five got on so it, if it's doing that every service then it's definitely something that might be beneficial to the town to the community um, I have a look at the Storm Pebble Beach down here I'm assuming that's more come up that way and borrowing furnace that way um, but yeah every 15 minutes from here uh, next to the Houston Hotel mm. there's a lot of weird named hotels over here I've got to admit quite a few uh, but yeah it's a lovely day today I wasn't expecting it to be this nice uh, I'd packed to uh, for, a, for a bad day for a rainy day and stuff like that I just threw a hoodie on and I got my big jacket and bag but yeah it's uh it's been a alright trip so far. I've got to commend British weather for turning up and being so lovely. So we've got 15 minutes. I'm going to look at the beach. I might walk down to the town centre stops because I want to get something to eat. So that might be the best way to go. But when in uh, at the seaside, wherever that may be, you've got to go on the beach. I don't think you did it in her video and I was like <laughs> don't, don't, don't care I'm doing it in mine um, but yeah so we've gone to we've gone from the start to the middle to the middle to the start to the end and this is uh can't get much more endy than the end of the end of the island so uh yeah let's travel back in a minute my eyes watering again travel back in a minute and uh enjoy what we've got right. I will say is 
The seats aren't as comfortable if you're doing the long journey. If you're doing the long journey, which I've gone from Starbeck to the uh, last stop, it is uh, very uncomfortable after a while. It's not to be a bit sore, a bit stiff. So, yeah. Uh, Maybe come for your seats. I don't know. Maybe they're just meant to be hop on, hop off surfaces. But yeah. So I'm uh, looking for a shop now. And then I'm gonna make my way back. I just thought these were really cool. Quite cool. Trams. I just got off at Talbot Street, Talbot Road. I'm never too sure what this place is called. And uh, oh, there's a Sotaro. I'm going to drive. Look at Talbot Square we got off at. I'm trying to show those silver. Uh, of a tram start and our benches. Have a quick look at the town centre and then we'll finish this off. Back on Talbot Road. I decided to get off to show you those um, lovely benches. I've been thinking whilst I've been walking, I just went for a walk around town in Blackpool. where I have a look at the slot machines and stuff like that and visit. You know. I was thinking about getting an ice cream. I got thinking, is it really worth the £22 million pounds that they spent on this linkage and heritage centre? The 122 to develop the, the area, to bring it up to the modern era with a new college hot holiday inn. So I spent two million pounds to bring up this new area. Well, the, the tram line up here, 122 million pounds for the rest of it. You have to think to yourself, how much is it actually worth to the general public? <laughs> so that's my big question. £22 million. Pound. Is it worth £22 million? Pound? Has it been successful for Blackpool Council, Blackpool Transport? Well, the number of passengers I've recorded today getting on and off is probably between the fives and tens. But looking at it from my perspective, maybe it isn't worth it for someone like myself who would normally get off at Blackpool North Station probably going to the Holiday Inn or a, a place further down the road and would just walk. I think that news article really does set the precedent well. It is for people who have um, issues walking, um, you know, disabilities and, you know, wanting to get around with mobility problems. You know, it, it is a, it's, it's a, it's a nice little walk up, but it is a fur walk. At the end of the day, if you've got mobility issues, which you know, I'd say people in Blackpool uh, tend to be a little bit older because they come for the holiday and the nice flat land, it would be, yeah, you would be saying it, it, it's needed. However, the station closing at seven o'clock at night, it's not brilliant. Especially as we're coming to the end of the season and now going to illuminations and people are still coming. You've no trams coming up here at 22 million pound from after seven o'clock, even if it's on the hour. It's, yeah, like I said, there are people using it and people do seem happy with it, but it's still a building site. You still can't access the disabled lift if you have dis a disability, you've got to come down the stairs. You know, I don't, there is stepless access from the station, but you are walking a longer way around. Why is that not open? That should have been open two, three months ago. You know, what they're doing with this little bit of land next to it, are they building something? 
put hoardings up, you know, saying about to make Blackpool look more beautiful. It just looks like a building site and the station slaps in the middle of it. Um, Timetable-wise, I think they fixed that from the last criticisms of not being running more than 15 minutes. Uh, they are now running every 15 minutes and I have seen quite a few um, trams. I've just missed two, so I can't really get back on them now. So, well, I can, but I've just missed them. Gonna make a way back to Blackpool North Station. Um, I'm still slightly disappointed by it. And the, the disappointment is the fact that it's not as, as accessible as it could be. Uh, and now it could be better for people and passengers. I don't think it's cheap neither, using the tram. The buses have definitely got a win on that. And I think that's the other problem, isn't it? If you've got bus services that are already established and going to where they're going, then why would you choose the tram? Especially if you're a now car holder and you can use your now card. You can't use your now card on these trams unless you're from Blackpool or Flyde, um, or Wirral uh, Council. So yeah, that's what I'd say. It's definitely need some thought. There's a T1 pulling in now. 007, Alan Whitbread. They are Bombardier. I can't remember what spec they are, but I know the Bombardier. It'll be interesting to see how many people get off here. There is one person sat waiting to get on. I'd say about five people got on, three, four got off. No passenger information. Hiya. I mean, it, it just feels a bit half cooked at the moment. Like they're, they're, they're trying. They've, they've opened it delayed. They've opened it problematic. You know, the delays in the building work and stuff like that. But yeah, I just, I just think it could be a lot better um, but it's still early days and it's definitely something that I think has will uh, help bring people to the area and get people off the trains in the busier seasons All right well, that's me officially signing off from this journey I'm going to make my way back to Blackburn now I hope you enjoyed the video if you have you know what to do hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments and uh We'll see you next time. Take care.